Bridge Mutual is a Polkadot-based blockchain project that aims to provide decentralized insurance cover to a wide range of blockchain-based assets. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about Bridge Mutual in under 5 minutes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is AG Hunter and my goal is to help you make good investment decisions by providing quality analysis of cryptocurrency projects. If you like what you see in this video, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if you have any feedback or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Today we are going to take a look at Bridge Mutual, which I'll also refer to as BMI. BMI is an ambitious new project that is part of the growing Polkadot ecosystem. Today we'll take a look at the background to the project, the types of products that they're aiming to bring to market, and we'll also have a brief discussion of the BMI token. Before we start, however, I need to make my standard disclaimer that I am not a financial advisor. All investments are inherently risky and you should do your own research before making any investment decisions. So what is Bridge Mutual? In a nutshell, Bridge Mutual is a blockchain-based insurance company. It aims to provide insurance coverage against a wide range of risks commonly encountered in the blockchain ecosystem. The simplest example to start with is what is known as smart contract risk. Smart contract risk is the risk of losing money due to a smart contract you are using being hacked. An example of this might be if you decided to invest some funds on the Balancer platform. In this situation, you take the risk that if Balancer is hacked, then your funds could be lost. Bridge Mutual will give you the ability to take out insurance against this risk, meaning that if you were to lose money in this situation, then you are able to lodge a claim against your BMI insurance policy to get your funds back. In addition to allowing you to insure against individual smart contracts, BMI will also allow you to take out insurance against the risks associated with stablecoins, exchanges and custodians. The closest competitor to BMI is Nexus Mutual and a comparison of these two projects is a useful way to understand what BMI is seeking to achieve. The most significant difference between these two projects is that Nexus Mutual only allows you to take out insurance against pure smart contract risk. BMI is seeking to provide significantly more flexibility in the types of assets that you can obtain coverage for. This greatly increases the potential market for Bridge Mutual's products. Do you own Tether but have concerns that USDT could become unlinked from the US dollar? Well, BMI will allow you to insure against this risk. Do you find it convenient to hold assets on centralized exchanges but have concerns about the security of the funds that you hold there? BMI will also allow you to insure against this type of risk. This broad range of insurance options is the key difference that sets BMI apart from its more well-established peers. Secondly, Nexus Mutual is Ethereum-based, whereas Bridge Mutual will be based upon the Polkadot blockchain. While BMI will allow users to take out coverage against any smart contract on any public blockchain, the project itself will be based on Polkadot, which the team believes will provide faster transaction speeds and lower fees for users of the protocol. The third major difference is that BMI is seeking to be fully decentralized, whereas Nexus Mutual is, by design, a centralized entity. Nexus Mutual has taken the path of being a regulated insurance provider and some compromises have needed to be made to satisfy its regulatory obligations. Users of NXM have to meet KYC requirements before being able to interact with the platform and the token itself is unable to be listed on cryptocurrency exchanges. This means that the token price is set by a formula built into the protocol rather than by market forces. BMI aims to be completely decentralized. Like all good DeFi projects in 2021, it aims to be governed by a DAO with BMI token holders owning governance rights over the project. It will have no KYC requirements, it will be unregulated, and BMI tokens will be listed on a variety of centralized and decentralized exchanges. It should be noted here that while BMI aims to be completely decentralized in the long term, in the short term it is an extremely centralized project. Only 8.65% of the token pool were released as part of the token sale, meaning that the majority of tokens will continue to be controlled by the project team for the foreseeable future. This isn't necessarily an issue, but transitioning to a decentralized ownership model is not a simple process, so this will require patience by investors. In addition to governance rights, BMI token holders will also be able to stake their tokens to earn liquidity rewards. In an insurance platform of this kind, staking takes the form of providing insurance coverage to customers seeking policies. BMI token holders will be able to choose from a wide range of staking pools and will be able to select an individual pool that meets their risk tolerance and requirement for yield. Riskier pools will offer higher yields, but the flip side to offering insurance coverage is that if a claim is made on a policy in a pool where you have funds staked, then your funds could be used to pay out a portion of the policy proceeds. BMI token holders who stake will also receive a portion of the premiums paid by policyholders. This portion could be as much as 70 to 75% of the premiums paid, so it has the potential to be a lucrative additional source of income. In summary, BMI is an ambitious project. The most significant point of difference in the favor of this project is that BMI aims to provide insurance coverage across a wide range of blockchain-based assets. This makes its products much more comprehensive than some of its competitors. It also aims to develop into a fully decentralized entity which will be attractive to many blockchain purists. It is, however, a very early stage project that is yet to bring products to market and a degree of caution is always warranted when dealing with projects in their infancy. The platform's contracts are due for auditing in early March 2021 and assuming no issues are raised, you would expect that the products would be launched shortly after. So if you're still here, that means you've watched all the way to the end, which must mean that you like what you've seen. Please hit like and subscribe to show your appreciation. 
Also, if you have any comments or suggestions on this video, or would like to suggest topics for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.